Hello all, Terhi here again. First of all, I'd like to thank you all for leaving me such nice comments and questions about my layouts and videos. Um, this uh, layout was inspired one of your questions because one, one of my subscribers asked about how I do my paper clusters. So I really wanted to focus on doing the paper cluster and showing it for you. So the first phase for the cluster is to make some scraps. Of course, you can use your scraps what you have, but um, basically I never have that much much of scraps from my uh, each month month kits because uh, I do it my layouts this way. Uh, so I'm making some scraps with matching papers, and then I'm going to. Uh, use one hand to keep it all together and the other hand for adding to la uh, paper layers. Uh, there's no rules but uh, I kind of like to do it the way that um, there is no uh, two same kind of papers on top of each other. So it's it's kind of like doing a puzzle or something, something like that. But Basically, it's just keeping uh, all papers in one hand and using the other one to, to um, add them and attach them with stapler. Um, I'm usually doing a cluster and then I'm adding some, some more papers on top because I want to have some air between the layers and sometimes I like to keep some kind of um, uh, frame kind of a thing uh, behind the folder for the folder anyway so that was my cluster the base base of the cluster and then i cut it some butterflies out i think every single one who has received that gorgeous great paper butterfly paper have um, cut those butterflies out because they are so delicious. Uh, I'm putting my picture to this Heidi Swap frame, which is kind of unusual because I never <laughs> use the frames like the traditional way. I always put them between the layers, but today I'm, I'm adding it the way it should be used. Uh, then I'm using this embellishment embellishments to to make kind of a, another cluster which is a butterfly cluster uh, next to the photograph and I'm using tacky clues to make it and there that's that's kind of the easy part of this um, making the layout uh, I'm noticing I'm, I'm missing one butterfly so I will cut Cut the third one. I'm usually uh, using like one, three, or five embellishments, but for this layout, I use four of these these butterflies. I don't know why, and it doesn't hurt my eyes, so <laughs> it's really, really unusual. But yes, that's the way I do it. Uh, I hope this helps about paper clustering thing and layering thing. Um, that's that's my way to do the, the clustering. Of course, you can do it by adding a larger one and then a smaller one on top and then a top and then and then and then. But uh, it takes much more time and much more tape or glue or something. But this is my way to do it. So thank you for watching and I hope you like this layout as much as I do. I really like the photograph of my daughter and those butterflies are so delicious I could actually eat them. But I will not, I will eat food. So thank you for watching and we'll see you soon again. Bye!